Hi, this is Pedia Birds at Arcade at birdsarcade.com, and this isn't really a tutorial, but I'm going to be answering some of the questions that I get asked on uh, uh, YouTube, simply because I, some of these questions I get asked quite a bit, or at least has a, a common answer. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll start off with uh, the first one here. It's on video 86, and uh, it's about the camera controls. Okay. Uh, can't we just use input.getMouseButton1 instead of making a flag for button presses? Uh, you can, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to allow the player to be able to change buttons uh, to whatever configuration they want. Like if they're not using something that has a button that you've set up for it, they're going to want to allow them to be able to use something else. And this is an easy way to do it without having to go in and change any code. So if I don't want to use the right mouse button, uh, it, that's what this case is here. Use the right mouse button. I can switch it over to use maybe like the, the number one key uh, when the game first starts and don't have to worry about it. Uh, but anyway, that's it for that one. Uh, next question. My creep. Okay, this is on video number 28, Unity 3D tutorial, saving character data two of six. Uh, my create button does not wait for me to press it. The next scene will just load automatically. Uh, check uh, the code for your button. It should be waiting. I, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've looked at video 28, but I'm pretty sure we have some sort of code there to say, you know, hey, you know, when this button is clicked, you know, load this other scene up. Check your code for the button. You've got some, some mistake in there. That's pretty much all I can say for that one. Let me see the next one. Uh, it's on video 35, uh, instantiating our character, part three of five. I also get the index out of range as Nick Biagins. Uh What is the cause of this? Um, it's a little bit of rough spelling here. I thought I forgot to add a bigger number to my loop, but it doesn't seem to fix the problem uh, when I raise the value. Okay, the problem is when you get an index out of range, it means you're trying to access something in the array that uh, isn't there. So you could be going over or under. I would use a debug log statement, figure out, um, put it right before wherever you're getting this error is and check to see what the index is that your program is trying to grab. Uh, so basically just debug log out that index and go from there. Uh, that's probably, that, that'd be where I'd start anyway. See exactly what index it's calling and maybe also debug out uh, the actual size of your index. And next one, it's on video one. Uh, hi, Bergzerg Arcade. Can I make a game and publish it with your codes? Yep. Uh, next comment. <laughs> uh, so this is on character creation part four or five. Hi, Bergzerg. I have two issues. One, it won't let me use the buttons as they should, stating I have an empty statement. Uh, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. And two, uh, when I set the attributes and vitals changes, it causes my entire code to crash and only display one stat at the base number I set. Is there anything you can do to help? Uh, not really, because I, I don't know what you have down for the code. Uh, again, I'm not sure what number one you're talking about, but for number two, uh, when you set the attribute and vital change, it causes my entire code to crash and only displays uh, one stat at the base value. Again, debug logs your friend. Find out exactly what's going on in your code. So wherever you're getting an error, maybe go to the line above it and debug log out some of the variables, or at least the values for those variables, and you know, see what's going on in your code. Like I really can't help you. I don't know what you have typed in. And the next one, it's on 82, tutorial exporting a Unity package. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, we'll go to the next one. That's on 71, consumable class like your toots. Uh, thank you again, same person. Uh, next is um, a video in interview with, well, we won't do that one there because I'm just gonna try to keep to the actual tutorials. Uh, setting up attack types. At Bergzerg, uh, great. Uh, okay, well, again, thank you again. Uh, I guess I'm not showing my screen, so you can't see. Basically, someone's saying thank you for the tutorials. Uh, 
Next is number 30. How important are, are the debug lines? When I put them in my script, I get an error saying CNT does not exist uh, in the current context and can't start my game. So I delete them out. Okay, well, it's not the debug line that's causing the problem. The problem is that it can't find the variable CNT. So you've probably deleted a line up above or forgot to add it. Uh, chances are you're probably typing scripts up as you go along. So you've probably actually forgot to add the CNT variable up top. And debug lines are actually pretty important. They actually tell you, you know, what's going on in your game when you want to look at it. It's an easy way to do it. There's other ways to get debug information out. Uh, but using stuff like debug.log or debug.warning or debug.error, it's just an easy way to do it. And it's like right there while your game is running. Uh, you might actually have CNT in there, but maybe you named it wrong. Maybe you've got CMT or something like that. Again, check for the CNT variable. Uh, that's what you're missing. Or at least that's what it's screwing up on. So we'll go ahead, we'll delete that. And let's just do one more. Uh, another person is you can download some icons from my web page. Uh, this was Mario82464. Uh, he does not actually give a link though. So we'll do one more since that wasn't a question and answer. Uh, here's another one I get uh, a little bit. Uh, this one's actually on number 25, uh, unit tutorial cre uh, character creation, uh, part five of five, but it's not really pertaining to this uh, the tutorial. Uh, what it is, it's, hey, I got your files um, uh, from the purchase a couple days back, all the scripts, okay. I am just double checking each of the scripts in here. I place uh, my character generator in the main camera and I get name, colon, dot, 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 nothing else. What am I doing wrong? I've actually made a series for the, the people who have bought the scripts and I update it periodically about every hundred videos. Uh, the latest one is actually at uh, tutorial 200 and I believe it's 43 and it's labeled something like catch up and there's pretty close to 20 videos in that series. So basically for the, for the people who have actually purchased the scripts, it's kind of a quick catch up. Now I do recommend going back and watching all these videos because that way there you'll actually see uh, what I was thinking you know, while I wrote the, the scripts, or at least what I was trying to achieve. Uh, so I still think it's very important to go back and actually watch the videos, but it does save you not having to type any of this stuff out and find the bugs. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm not really sure how many questions we went through here, but uh, hopefully uh, this helps answer a few of them. And uh, maybe I'll get a little bit less uh, questions every day and give me more time to do other things. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.